Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about Ornn. Why Ornn? Because since the tank item update, Ornn's pick rate has fallen off massively and his win rate has dipped down a little bit as well. Ornn is not performing as well uh, after the tank item update as he was before it. Unfortunately, everything I just said was true, but is now a lie. This is last patch. On this patch, Ornn has a 53% win rate with his pick rate nearly doubling. What happened here? How can you get in on this? How can you use Ornn's newfound power? What changed to give him this newfound power? Well, I'm going to go over all of that in this video. So last patch, Riot did a uh, bug fix, fixed a bug where Ornn's E and R knockups were cleansable. If you look at this, you don't see anything. I didn't see anything, but this note actually had massive implications. To put this bluntly, Ornn's knockups were being counted as stuns. In other words, they were being reduced by tenacity, meaning people with lots of tenacity could run right through Ornn's combo, and seeing as Ornn relies on combos, which I'll go into uh, later, this massively was impacting his ability to be played as a champion. To describe, for because I, I assume basically none of you know how knockup stuns, that sort of stuff works, I'm going to go into this right now, and I assure you, we'll, we'll explain real easily here why this made his win rate so much higher. Orn's Charge does a 1.25 second stun, and it does a 1.25 second knockup. Now, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write down here real quick. 1.25 second stun, 1.25 second knockup. Now, these are the bare minimum, okay? So, if you have... Um, let's say 20% tenacity, um, it will do a one second stun. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. So if you have 20% tenacity, Orin's searing charge will stun you for one second and knock you up for 1.25 seconds. Meaning that the tenacity literally didn't do anything because you're still knocked up. You're not stunned, but now you're knocked up. This means that Orin's searing charge will always knock you up for 1.25 seconds no matter how much tenacity you build. However, if you have, for example, um, uh, Brittle on you from his other abilities, remember Brittle removes 30% uh, of your tenacity, it gives you negative 30% tenacity. So that 1.25 seconds will be multiplied by 1.3, and that will equal a 1.625 seconds done. Does everybody follow me on this? So if Orn made you Brittle, his Searing Charge would stun you for longer, but the knockup wouldn't be affected. Riot made it, so the knockup counted as a stun, so the minimum duration of his, uh, his, his Searing Charge and his ultimate, the minimum duration was gone because the knockups were being reduced by tenacity. So um, these abilities will always now have this minimum duration as to the amount that they knock up. Why is this so important? This is really important because, uh, as I've been trying to say, Ornn is really important uh, for combos and stuff like that. Comboing on Ornn is important. Having lots of tenacity will break his combos and massively reduce his ability to hit his abilities and do damage. This is uh, Macro here. He's an Ornn one trick. Uh, I'll probably link his video um, in the comments so if you want to uh, go to his channel, learn Ornn. He'll know much better than me. So you can go to his channel and you can probably learn Ornn, which uh, learning Ornn right now might be a very good idea. But for those of you who just want to understand what's happening with Ornn, uh, let me hear real quick. Uh, next you can wall, see you can just, that... Uh, cast your ult, auto attack E, you have to walk So he stunned so into the ult stun. Faster. However, then if I could scroll back here real quick, if in the current system you had a bunch of uh, tenacity, you could see how they're knocked up here. You could actually, before this patch, get unstunned right about now, use Flash, use a, um, a, a Yone Gap Closer, something like that. You could use any of your abilities at this point and get out of this combo, which would break Owen's combo, which would massively <laughs> reduce his ability to actually, uh, uh, unfortunately for him, it would massively reduce his ability to win the game. Now, Orn does actually have combos you. here. I'll mute this real quick. Uh, you guys can go listen to Macro's beautiful voice if you want. But uh, you can see here that the ability to sneak in auto attacks, the ability to do these full combos and stuff like that, you can see here that you know this, this is important for Orn, right? It would be like if any champion, if, if you could tenacity through Darius's knockback, 
his, his pull, if you could tenacity through that and then dodge his Q afterwards, that would massively impact uh, the ability to play against Zerus. So as of right now, tenacity is useful against Orn, but not as useful as you're thinking. It used to be massively useful, but now it's useful to make sure that he can't push you into negative tenacity. You don't want to be in negative tenacity because he will actually then you stun you for longer. But having a positive tenacity doesn't do much for you because there's a minimum duration that once again works on his knockups. If I've been repeating myself, I'm sorry, but for a lot of people, they don't really like understand that it's applying two different CCs. One of them can't be reduced. One of them can be reduced and increased. And so because of that, that's how tenacity works and interacts with uh, Orin's kit. Not every knockup has a stun attached, but for example, Cosante uh, does have a stun attached on his Q. So if you actually build uh, tenacity against Cosante, it will actually reduce his Q because his Q knocks back for less than it stuns. So you can reduce that stun, um, but you can't reduce the knockback, but the knockback lasts for less than the stun. Now that's on Cosante. Orn is different. Orn has much longer knockups, um, presumably to ensure that you can't uh, tenacity through them. Okay. So then, with that said, uh, what are we doing on Orn? What you want to play Orn? Why? Do you, of course, you want to play Orn because you're an Ornster. Well, you can probably get more up to the up to the date builds on Macro, or you know, just like right here, he'll probably give you more up to date builds and stuff like that. But what is the gist? You know, what is happening here? Well, the general idea here, and we can just go into the build paths and see this. The general idea here is uh, Jack Show is currently Orn's best item, not. Hard Steel. Hard Steel is underperforming on him. Um, Radiant Virtue is somewhat performing on him. But the general idea is uh, Sunfire Aegis, Jack Show, and Thornmail. Why does Thornmail work so well on Orn? Because Orn gets 10 to 30% bonus armor. That bonus armor funnels into the uh, Giga passive from Thornmail. So then, uh, you know, you do a lot of damage on hit. You also get bonus health from uh, your passive on Orn. So the Sunfire Aegis will burn people a little bit more. And importantly, the Jack Show gives you a heal. Remember, Orn has no shield and no healing in his entire kit. That means that uh, Orn actually benefits greatly from the ability to have tank items that shield and he or heal him. Uh, right now, they only... Basically, I mean, the Mythics only heal. I don't think there's any shielding ones. Right? So, uh, basically, Orn has really high armor, really high magic resist, really high health, but he has no way to shield it like Scion. He has no way to heal it like Maokai. So, um, it tends to be worth less. Like, his stats tend to be worth less. That's why he gets his passive for more armor, magic resist, and health, because he can't, like, magnify their effects. Jack Show, giving him this AoE heal, allows him in the middle of the fight to get, you know, like, three, four, five hundred HP. Not that much, but, you know, a little bit, and uh, get through that. This is a pretty typical uh, core build for a tank. Uh, I'm not really going to go that much into it because, let's be honest, tank builds are uh, pretty cookie cutter right now. You're going to want Sunfire, you're going to want Jack Show, you're going to want Thornmill, you're going to want Frozen Heart, you're going to want Gargoyle. If you're fighting a mage team, then you slot in a Force of Nature and likely remove the Frozen Heart. That's generally the build, uh, I think, for most tanks right now. Unless you're doing something special, I would say that's generally the build. Uh, Gargoyle, particularly last item is um, after all the buffs they did to it, it's a pretty good staple on tanks. Even tanks that don't use Gargoyle that well uh, can last item it. It's kind of like a a magnifying effect, you know what I mean? And that's that's it. That's that's basically all I have to say. Orn was not doing good. Now he's doing uh, really, really good. And you can get in on this. And if you want to learn better than me, because there is someone I can... Got, guys, I can give you like a little bit of tips, but... Um, I'll link this video here because it actually has, you know, the combos and stuff like that that you probably want. You know, he's got his stats here. He's better than me at Orn, right? So I figured, screw it. Just go, you know, you want to you learn Orn? You know, he's got basic combos, but, uh, you know, there you go. So that's it. That's this entire thing. Uh, that's why Orn's doing good. I, I, That's it. Answer the question. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Um... I've been streaming over on uh, Kick, by the way. Uh, I put up some community posts about that. So if you've been missing me, I've been streaming on Kick. I've been trying to get that to grow. Uh, if you haven't been missing me, then, well, you know, that's kind of mean. But uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your day.